The world's economy grew by 6% last year. The African continent's economy shrank by 8%. Would it just be kinder not to tell Africa about the global economy? I feel like we kind of have to act like everything's okay, Africa. Make them feel good, keep them busy. Right, we have to make them feel good because the whole country, the whole continent, it's like hospice. To keep them in the dark. I mean, at some point, they're going to come asking questions about the global economy. They're going to ask, why is our economy different than the rest of the world's economy? Once they learn that there is no famine in Kansas, no uh, a civil war currently happening in New Mexico, yeah. but it's, they, it's, they'll, be, they'll be so disappointed and, and, and probably a little angry. They feel like we can do business ventures with other continents. They don't realize nobody's going to trade oil for sticks. You know what? The stick market over there is a complete free fall. You know? How many sticks does one person really need? That's the debate that's going on there right now. But the thing is, not telling Africa about the global economy will mean leaving the continent in charge of their own mining and drilling operations. You can't do it. You can't Are do they it. going to hurt themselves with all that equipment? I think so. I think so. I wouldn't have a problem with uh, introducing Fisher-Price mining tools to sort mm. of like get them started, get them a sense of what the shapes and something sounds are soft, like. Something with rounded that edges. That they can chew on, yeah. you know. Some people say that television only increases their knowledge of what they're missing. Should we cut off electricity to Africa so that no one gets television? Oh. As long as we're sending them things that show Western culture in a very basic, rudimentary kind of form, like gun smoke, bonanza, a little house on the prairie, so that they are really being able to see that we too are struggling. The main thing go? is we don't want to rob them of their culture, as you said. We don't want to introduce plumbing and electricity and housing and doorknobs, because that's going to take away what it means to be inherently African. It would be disrespectful. You know? It would make it much more difficult to exploit them.